told you to be blue with it. Because I've really got to deal exactly where we left off last time. The only difference is we had a stupid to use. If you remember in the last episode we leveled up. I want to save it to a record we used that skill for it. But what should we use? Get engulf myself in flames. Scorch the area. Or get the meteor strike. I want that one. It sounds more fun. Oh yeah, I joined the league, stuck on a random in for us. Ugh, may as well. But, if any of you like, want me to join your league, then sure, by all means. Send me a message. You know what username is. Because I was, I was just in episode one, I'll be great if this goes up. Or this silly camera, or whatever you want to put it. But for now, let's go and find the safe house windows. And someone's having fun exploding eggs. We The vendors are where uh, you go to repair any damaged sorry. equipment or sell any items you don't need. Some of the vendors sell unique items, and as soon as you have enough for now, you can purchase those as well. We have mail all the time. Now this is the mail room with the mailboxes, of course, plus the watchtower teleporter, your PVP and alert holograms. Go ahead, check your mail. I sent you something. Then find Protostar Blakely. He has a message for you from Superman. Oh, may as well. Wonder Woman's 75th anniversary. We give a joy wonderful iconic emblem. Double XP for seven and a half hours. Sweet. What have you got? Full dynamite. Yeah. Right, ready? Let's get the thing there. And let's go speak for Pro Star Blakely. Proto Star. Yeah. My name's Chewie. You expect me to get... There you go. Gorilla Grodd is attacking the Queensland boardwalk. His army is devolving humans to apes, using some kind of tech even Star Labs hasn't seen before. We've this got to get in there and stop the Fortress. Four I'm asking you to help us with the situation here in Metropolis. With the Brainiac attacks, we need all the help we can get. Grodd's, Gorilla Grodd's army is attacking mine. and devolving humans into apes. We've got to stop them before they overtake Metropolis. Three, two, one, fight. What? 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 Don't know who I'm fighting. Do this thing. Gonna take out a stinky grip. Oh, it died. We tried to stop cross gorillas at the Queensland boardwalk, but they're using tech even Star Labs hasn't seen in Act 4. See what you can do about shutting this down. Oh, 
Intel. Gorilla Quad is a hyper intelligent ape who hates humanity. He believes apes, meaning himself, should rule. As if Brainiac weren't bad enough. Hey, so you should know that people everywhere can use your help. Usually you'll find them near crisis spots in the city. Here's one. See if you can lend a hand. Grod's teleporters run off fuel cells. The more we destroy, the fewer troops they can bring in. Think you're up for it? Those guerrilla troops are trapping civilians with Grod's evolution devices. Destroy the devices and weaken Grod's forces.
technician report. This chassis is infused with a metal alloy so infused that humans' primitive hands won't even leave a scratch. Do not let them destroy you. Fuel protect the fuel. It is needed on the front. What? Devolution fuel cells under attack. I 
I'm level six. Grodd's usual trick is mind control, so I'm betting that's part of those devolvers. Grodd turns people to apes, then controls their minds. And he considers us uncivilized villains. Lane with Daily Planet Live, breaking news. The Metropolis waterfront is under attack by the hyper-intelligent ape, Gorilla Grodd, and his army. Experts say Grodd's devolution technology can control unsuspecting minds, turning humans into primitive slaves. Grodd's longtime nemesis, the Flash, is on... Now that Grodd's main force has weakened, we need to help those devolved citizens. Grodd has neural arrays clutched on rooftops nearby to reinforce his devolution devices. Take those out, you can create a device to reverse the devolution effect. The Flash is going after Grodd in his hideout. This should be over soon.